Hey guys, and yes, you are reading this correctly. I am doing an automation car building thing. So, this is a recorded video I well, recorded on my computer, but I did not have an audio, so this is what I, I'm just going to tell you what I have done and just sort of speculate on the things I did. So, the first thing I did was I tried searching for a car that I wanted to do because I didn't have an idea of what type of car I wanted to build. So, I just took me, yeah, there's a time lapse right now. It just took me a while to sort of figure out what I want to make. So, I ended up choosing a car like this. And I choose partial aluminum. I ended up choosing. Partial aluminum. And monoclock because that's cool. And light A S S A H S. I don't know. Deal. Mid longitudinal wishbone suspension on all on all axles or whatever it's called. Corners. And so the engine, I was thinking of just doing a V8 with a flat plane, but then I thought it would be better if I just did a boxer again. I haven't done boxers in a while. So and then I did dual overhand cam shafts and I did four valves because then I had the option of doing VVL variable valve lift if I wanted. I didn't do it exactly that moment, but I had the option, which was good. And I just did all the best option there was for pistons, conrods, and com uh, whatever, that, whatever that was. The camp profile, I just wanted to make it nice and simple, and yes, I I'm trying to make it like a, uh, like a, it had like a, I'm trying to make a supercar with decent MPG, so, yeah, that was definitely good. The intercooler, yeah, I added a turbo. I just I didn't really want to work too hard on the turbo. Turbos do help, sometimes they don't help. And I just fuel systems injection. So it's already the engine's already looking pretty cool. I did single because like um single configuration because I mean it sort of looks better. And I did performance because that also looks neater. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just going for looks for this engine. And you see, I, I'm going to do uh, premium, which is like probably 93 octane. I, I don't know how to switch the metric systems. I tried looking through the settings, but I couldn't find it. So I'm pretty sure that's 93. But I ended up doing super. And fuel mixture, yeah, I just put it back to 14.2. Ignition timing, I just put it back to 60. That's my normal ignition timing thing. And RPM limit. I was originally going to do 9,000, which is pretty high, but not too high. Like Lamborghinis and Ferraris do that, but I just I ended up doing 8,500 because it was better for the engine. And as you see here, I had engine pinging, a ton of engine pinging, and that was not good. So this is just a fast, a time lapse of me figuring out the problem and yeah so I just fixed the turbos I tried seeing what was wrong and and I ended up having no pinging then it was it was being really difficult I tried getting as much horsepower and torque out of the engine so I just kept increasing the size until it was like four liters of engine space and I was doing multiple test runs to see if it was working. And this is the first test run, I think, or maybe one of them. Just to, just to show you how the engine sounds. <coughs> yep. Just transmission. turbine and the compressor they're usually um th th those are on the turbo so those, those usually don't get enough airflow I I've never really had them get perfect airflow 
And so now I got 500 horsepower already, and I'm trying to work my way up to 600. So that'd be a good number for a supercar. And I grabbed VVL and started working on it. Did some inner cool stuff, and now we have this. So I ended up choosing the variant with the least drag, which was the one in the center. So, chose that, and I didn't really do too much editing to it besides add fender flares so I can add um, bigger wheels. And yeah, I didn't do too big of fender flares because, I mean, I didn't want two big wheels because then it'd mess it up. And this is a time lapse of me putting fixtures on. This took a little bit, so that's why I time lapsed it. And I, I had a hard time figuring out which vents I wanted to put on the upside. Those looked ugly, and then I, I just found those, and they were okay. Then I put some more vents for engine stuff, tail lights. And uh, for the final version, I, w I when I was looking at the footage, my tail tail lights ended up being flipped. They were on the wrong side, but they still looked okay. It, it was just kind of weird. I could fix that later. So I'm just putting up details. I tried putting a spoiler put spoiler on, and yeah. So that that was the part where I f accidentally flipped the um, tail lights. I didn't know that. I thought I just messed them up, but I didn't know that. So. I tried finding a good wing to use, and then I, I did a few, they didn't look good, but I ended up with this one because it wasn't too large and it wasn't too small. So that, yeah, that was that. And then we go to, we go to the um, powertrain soon, but first I had wheels. Wheels right here. And now drivetrain, I did, I did real wheel drive because I mean, it's not too complicated. All-wheel drive is okay, but for this type of look, for this type of car, it's not the exact ideal. And I did get uh, 211 miles per hour gearing because that would be logical for 500 horsepower, five, maybe 600. Sports compound wheels, and I just max them out the size. The rear wheels ended up looking pretty wide, so I just shorten them a bit because um I don't want to have too much understeer so I don't be like that yeah I don't really have too much to say it's kinda of just me putting now I'm putting brakes on brakes ended up being too big so I should make them smaller size 12 inches and pad type 75 it's not really too interesting. I'm just what I'm doing. I edit. I put down for because I had a wing. Yeah. And this is just interior stuff which you can't see in BBG Drive, so I really don't know why. Is it? And just power steering and stuff, suspension, and now we have a finished car. So. Now all I had to do was check the stats for the vehicle. Test track, so 0 to 60 in 3 seconds, not that bad. Top speed, nearly 200 miles an hour, not that bad. So this was just me figuring out if I can give it like a 200 mile an hour top speed. But that didn't work, so I just ended up Making, um, using the speed limiter, which I will use later. I didn't use it exactly right then. Yeah, so now I just use the speed limiter. And I guess that's it. And now, uh, so now I just started looking at, and there's just the stats, there's roll angle. Corner G's stuff that does don't really matter. Breaking and stuff. So now I was getting into 
I mean, well, actually, right now, yeah, I get to into the um, stat marketing stats, and it had 23.9 miles per gallon, and then, so I jump cut, and I worked on the engine a bit, and I had a, I, I originally, um, it, the top was 24.2 miles per gallon, but it was making the car uh, not perform as well, so I just kept it just, just 24 miles per gallon, and emissions went up just a bit, but it's not too much, and now let's export it to BMG. Alright, so now we're in BMG Drive, we got the car, sounds pretty good. And when I first shifted, I was like, oh wow, I forgot. I put sequential transmission on it. it was, I, I was kind of surprised, but. Eh, oh really. So, here's some more launching and stuff. Yeah. The suspension was. I guess that, that's pretty good suspension. I mean, it's sports suspension, so it's not supposed to handle that really well. crashed it. Now here's some, some cinematic angles of the car. Shout out to the Beam and G Drive AI for not messing up this cinematic shot. And thanks for watching.